Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up in Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm RJ. Today I have a brand new Easter egg to show off to you guys. You're going to want to come here in your game, house number 3543. Here's where you can find it. Right there. It is at a random house in the Vinewood Hills. So let's cruise over here with our Infernus. It looks pretty normal. Not too much to say. What do we have here? A gray house. There's the front window. Let's go around back. Hey, do you know anything about a weird Easter egg here at this house, bro? Come over to the front window, pull out a gun, and open fire. There's a red substance coming from the window. And if you shoot anywhere else, the door, the top windows, the house, it doesn't matter. A special shout out to Brandon Funk. He sent me this tweet. Hey, Trippy, check this out. Let me know what you guys think. I do not know what to call it. It is definitely the weirdest Easter egg in the game. You guys have probably seen the other house where if you just walk up to the people in the backyard, they just pass out. But this one only has the one bleeding window. What does it mean? This is the weirdest hidden secret in Grand Theft Auto V, if you ask me. And yet another new Easter egg found, guys. It shows you there's probably so much more to find. Maybe not all of the secrets have an exact meaning, or maybe we don't know what the heck it's doing. Now, special shout out to everybody who is watching this video the day it was released on a Tuesday. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we will have session three of the Vice City session. So I really hope you guys can join up. All right, making sure this car can still drive. Session two is pretty epic because we unlocked the entire map. So we have all the islands unlocked. If you guys missed that, we even bought what I think is the best safe house in the game. Well, maybe except for one safe house, the final one you unlock, if you know what I'm talking about. But we got the one where you actually have a helipad. So we'll have a helicopter in Vice City. We can go wherever we want. Pretty soon we'll unlock the ability to purchase properties. One of the best things about that game. Something they really need to bring back for the future Grand Theft Auto 6. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below about Vice City. And if you want to join up for the playthrough with the entire community, join up for GTA Vice City Sessions live stream 3. That is going to happen tomorrow night or Wednesday, January 10th. Uh, probably around the afternoon or evening time. If you hit the notification button, that'll let you know whenever we start up. And if you follow me on Twitter, I'll give you guys a heads up as well. That's also another place where you can hit me up if you guys perhaps have any Easter eggs. Like the one we showed off in today's episode. This Infernus is completely trash, so I think it's time to sign out. I'll catch you guys at the live stream. Until then, as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends.